I woke up this off today And baby everyone feels fake Somewhere I lost a piece of me Smoking cigarettes on Hey guys, it's Manu and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be making keto bread in less than 5 minutes and hear this, without any eggs. That's right, this is a recipe you are going to love. Are you ready? These are the ingredients. 1 tablespoon of butter, 1 tablespoon of flax meal, 3 tablespoons of water, 3 tablespoons of almond flour, half a tablespoon of coconut flour, salt, half a teaspoon of baking powder. The first thing we need to do is create our egg supplement. Um, so what we're going to use is a tablespoon of flax meal and three tablespoons of water. In a lot of vegan recipes, this is the egg replacement um, and also chia seeds with water. That will give the final product the density it needs. So we're just going to mix um, the flax meal with the water and let it sit for about five minutes. Now that the flax meal and water mixture is ready, we are going to melt the butter. We're going to do everything in this mug. Um, if you wanted to to bake this in the oven and not the and not use the microwave, don't worry, you can, and I will give you the baking instructions at the end. Also, if you wanted to make this recipe entirely vegan or dairy-free, you can sub the butter for coconut oil, avocado oil, or olive oil without any problem. So let's put this in the microwave for 15 seconds for the butter to melt. So the butter is melted but not hot. Now all there's left to do is add all of the ingredients. The first thing I'm gonna add is the flax meal water mixture. Mix it with the butter and then just add all of the other ingredients. But you gotta be there for me too. You might notice that we're using twice as much leavening agent or baking powder in this case than most mug cake recipes. Most of my mug cakes recipes call for a quarter teaspoon um, of, of baking powder. Here as we don't have the egg and it's, lev and it's leavening, um, as a leavening agent we need um, a little extra kick for this to grow and actually be a bread. We are ready to go into the microwave. This um, mug cake keto bread is going to take a little longer to cook than if we were using egg. Now the flax meal will make the bread really moist inside and it will seem like it's undercooked. So we're going to put this in the microwave initially for two and a half minutes uh, and we should be ready to go. If you were to use a conventional oven, bake it at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. After two and a half minutes, this is what we have. It's not gonna grow as much as other mug cakes. Um, the egg really does a lot of things for recipes, so when we sub it out, um, the end result is gonna vary. But that doesn't mean this isn't gonna be delicious. It is amazing. We're gonna unmold it, let it cool a little, and slice it in half to make two toasts. Be 
So that's it guys, super quick and easy keto bread. Not only that, ready in five minutes and it is eggless. I know some of you are allergic to eggs or are actually vegan and don't eat eggs. Well, this version has butter, but I told you the sub you can make if you wanna make it 100% vegan. I have to be honest with you, um, I would say 99% of my experience is baking uh, and cooking with eggs, with dairy, but I am incorporating more recipes for you guys because I know um, there's a lot of you that don't eat eggs, that don't add dairy, so I'm gonna keep experimenting. But for now, this recipe is amazing. Once you slice the bread, you basically have two pieces of toast. Um, you might think like, oh, it dried up. No, that's, that's how it's supposed to be. Let's remember that there's no egg, so a lot of the moisture is gonna be missing. But amazing toast amazing keto bread and I'm gonna give you the macros for the entire thing um, now let's just give it a taste I, I actually served it with butter because I do eat butter <laughs> here we go Buen provecho. Hmm. wow hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I really hope you guys try out this recipe, even if you are able to eat eggs just like me. But it's super tasty, super easy to make. And sometimes I think that's what we miss, or at least that's what I miss the most um, on the keto diet bread. I wasn't a huge sweet, sweet tooth person, um, but I did love sandwiches and breads. That's why I think I have so many recipes. Actually, my second book, which right now it's only available in Spanish, but will be available in English, has over 100 recipes of keto breads and desserts. So um, I hope you guys make this recipe. And if it is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome, thank you so much for being here. I would love it if you would subscribe and became a part of my English YouTube channel takes two seconds just click the subscribe button and make sure you click the bell icon that way YouTube can notify you every time I post a new video thank you if you are already a part of my English YouTube family thank you for watching the videos um, thank you for sharing my content with all of your English speaking friends and family if you like the video please give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys very very soon bye